Welcome to Cajun Style Crappie. Tonight we're going to tie a jig and I'm going to show you how to make my Cajun Style Crappie blue and white jig with the chartreuse head. It's 132nd ounce jig on a number 8 Victory V-Lock hook and uh, these are my go-to jig head colors I use. Chartreuse green and a fire red. I'll be using some synthetic fiber fibers for the body and the wing and then a little bit of blue color I'm gonna throw in on top just to mix a little color sometimes I do that not all of them have it so my thread I'm gonna use is the Danville 210 denier flat wax thread it's tough it's thick that's all I ever use for the jig it holds up good and uh, it's, it's easy to tie with all right so let's get started first step I do put just a, just a touch of Sally Hansen glue uh, hard as nails wrap some thread just to make a piece put my tag in oh. okay We'll take that and we'll wrap it down to the bend of the hook. I build up just a little bump at the tail and I come up right past the point. So the next step is I take my white, which the tail material is our white. They're synthetic fibers and I'm going to put those, i put it about an inch and a half past because I trim it after. So we'll, we'll lay that on top of the hook, cover the hook as best we can, and then I'll try to do this with my fingers out of the way. Make a couple light wraps, two or three light wraps, so it'll stay on there, and we can adjust it. Make sure we cover the hook pretty good. Okay. So do that. I'll gradually tighten up a little bit as I go back, and I'll go back to that bump I made. I'm going to make some little adjustments there. Once I get to the bump, I'll run it back up almost to the top. I leave me a little bit of slack. And I trim it where I have a little bit left over. That's a little more than I normally do. But we can cut. That'll lay, that'll lay down. Clean it up a little bit. i trim that. Normally I don't do that. Okay, so got it fairly good around the hook. Next step, take just a little bit, a little bit of blue. This will make just so with these fibers, they're they're shiny, and they. Kind of have a little flash built into them. So when you when you do a two-tone like this, you really don't need to add any flash because they're iridescent, right? And they they kind of glisten in the, when they're going to water. So it, it kind of saves a step, I feel, that you don't have to, you know, put so much glitter and shine on her, on and flash on them. Okay. Let's back up a little bit. So here's something. So if you take a look, the fibers are came around the hook. Let me take my my bodkin. See if I can pull some of those around. See if that's gonna fix it. Yeah, that worked. Okay. Now we'll put the blue straight on top. Because I just want a streak of the blue. I don't want to really cover anything with the blue. I just want a stripe on top with the blue. I wrap it a few times. Make sure it stays on top. Then I wrap that down just past the point of the hook. Then I come back pretty tight. Okay. And then I trim this one fairly close to the head. I don't have a bunch of extra. 
Okay. Now I'll clean that up a little bit. Alright. Tighten that up. And then I come with my chenille. Medium, just solid blue. Tie it in. Just past the hook. Tie it back to the front. And I use a cradle. I'll lay that in there. And I take my chenille. And then I just try to stay. I don't want much of an angle on it. So I try to stay straight as I can. And I go almost to the head. Not quite to the head. I'll show you why. If I didn't get my big hands in the way. Alright. Okay. So. I'll tighten up my thread. I'll make a tight wrap. Under the. And I'll do that three times. On the third time. I build up a little bit of a collar. Not much. Just a little bit. And the reason I do that. It helps the, when I put the wing on it, it keeps the wing from standing straight up. So now what I do, I'll take a little bit more of the, the fibers, right? And what I do for the wing is I cut just a small little angle on it. And what that does It just makes a taper. And that's all I want is a little bit of taper. Right? And I come in loosely wrap four or five times. And now I can check the length and make sure it's straight up over the eye of the hook. It's a little short right there. Let's go back just a hair. Once you got it where you want it, a couple more wraps, then I trim it. Take this. Cut it as close to the head as you can. Come in and just clean up the head. Build you up a little bit of a collar. Make sure you get that wing good and, and buried in there. And that ain't going to come loose once you do that. Then I'll finish with a whip, whip finish. Four or five turns. Whip finish. I don't go too many turns because I cover it with glue. Okay, turn the thread off. Now what I will do is I'll brush the tail out of the toothbrush. Get all those fibers nice and even so I can see. And then I shape it. And then I come back and I round it just a little bit I do that to give it like a minute tail profile it's just I think it's kind of neat it makes my little jigs a little bit different than most people's okay once I get it like I like it I'll come back with the glue I want a bunch on here then I just make a round with the brush. And there you have it. That is a Cajun style blue and white with a chartreuse head.